actually there's a huge market for these kind of homes. But I think there's a specific kind of buyer that should probably reconsider whether or not they want to go with something like this. Here's what's good and bad about a townhome. Believe it or not, if you're living in a townhome, you're living like European royalty. Townhomes originated in 1600s London. By the 1700s, rich people and fancy royals were doing what they do best, being rich and fancy. These people would live in their countryside estate for most of the year, but use townhouses as a crash pad in the city. Owners would pack up their country estates and bring their entire household entourage, servants, children, pets, everyone, to set up house in the city so they could go to all the major balls and fancy black tie events, all the who's who social gather. After enough partying, they would make their way back to the country estates to continue being rich and fancy. When townhomes made their way to the United States, they first came to New York City. They became super popular and affordable option for the middle class New York immigrants who couldn't believe that they now get to live in a fancy townhome style building just like the royals back home. New York City neighborhoods like Brooklyn and the Village still feature these iconic townhomes. In time, the townhome evolved and became to be known as a house with a small footprint of land comprised of multiple floors. Those homes are usually within walking distance of mass transit and other industrial areas. Townhomes today hold the same name because they stuck to a similar design. They are multi-floor buildings with a small footprint residing close to amenities. Convenience is the name of the game. So you've probably seen these townhomes being built all over the entire Seattle metro area. Row townhomes, single standing town, duplex townhomes, they're being built everywhere. Here are the people who should not invest in townhomes. People that want a lot of space, townhomes aren't gonna be for you. By design, townhomes are split across multiple levels. You're not gonna have those big, huge living areas that you typically see in a normal single family home. And storage is really, really hard in these kind of homes too. People with big families or pets that need a lot of exercise are going to find these kind of homes limiting and maybe even downright cramped. People who want freedom. The majority of townhouses, and especially the new construction townhome, are all being governed by HOAs, homeowner associations. This means that there's going to be rules about what the exterior of your home could look like, what the interior of your home can or can't have. Any kind of remodels might have to be approved by the HOA board. It can be really, really difficult for people who want that freedom to do what they want to do to their houses. Not only that, a really poorly run HOA could get really expensive really, really fast. I would recommend that you stay away from any kind of townhome that has a really low monthly HOA fee. Typically speaking, if they have a really low monthly fee, that means they don't have enough money in reserves to do those big, huge capital projects. Like, I don't know, replacing the roof, repaving the driveways. These are all things that might have to be covered under the HOA instead of you. So keep that in mind when looking at townhomes. You wanna to make sure that it's an HOA that fits your lifestyle, that you're comfortable with, and that has healthy, good financial reserves. People who can't handle stairs well. If there's one specific buyer that absolutely should reconsider buying a townhome, it is people that have difficulty with stairs. Because again, by design, they are split across multiple levels. You have the garage on the bottom floor, the main living space typically on the second floor, and the third and fourth floors are where the bedrooms are. People looking for a high appreciating asset. Typically speaking, townhomes hold their value really, really well, but they don't appreciate as fast as single family homes for that higher year over year appreciation. This was especially true during the pandemic when we saw Seattle home prices appreciate year over year in double digits. Not gonna happen ever, like that's insane. Like I, that shouldn't happen. That's not, that's not normal. Everyone should get that into their head right now. Double digit appreciation on your home, not normal. So if townhomes suck so bad, why are builders building so many of them? Short answer, there's a housing shortage. From 1947 to 2007, the United States built on average about 1.3 million homes per year. And that was enough to satisfy demand and growing families. But after the housing crash in 2008, only 700 homes were being built a year, almost half of what they were building prior to that. That puts us about 5 million homes in the hole before the pandemic hit and the pandemic made things just even harder. Now builders are being incentivized to build as many homes as fast as they possibly can. Townhomes are cheaper, they're faster, and they're easier to build. So who should invest in a townhome? People that are looking for an affordable starter home. This is a great way to get started into real estate. Townhomes, by and large, are usually much less expensive than a normal single family home. The square footage of townhomes is smaller, so that helps control costs when purchasing them. Also, they don't have these big yards, which also helps with the costs of maintaining the home. And typically speaking, long-term utilities, maintenance, all of those things are a lot easier. And yeah, you might have to share a wall with a neighbor, but that also means that the wall has better insulation because on the other side of it is another warm house. People who want convenience. People who buy townhomes typically are surprised to find that they're a lot easier to maintain than a single family home. If there's a yard or a driveway or any of these major common spaces, those are typically taken care of by the HOA. Snow removal, sometimes even the roofing and the siding maintenance will be taken care of by the HOA as well. And with a lot of these townhome HOAs, there's the shared amenities that are taken care of by the entire community. 
typically fitness centers, maybe a swimming pool, maybe a playground. All of these things are nice and make living in a townhome HOA community really desirable for some people. People looking to get started in real estate investing. For anyone looking to expand their net worth and grow their portfolios, townhomes are a great rental property to buy because of all the things that we just mentioned. A lot of people will buy a townhome as a starter home and then move out of it into a single family home and continue to rent out that townhome. For any of you that are looking to get into real estate investing, townhomes might be your way in. So yeah, do townhomes suck? I don't think so. I think they're actually pretty awesome for a specific kind of buyer. But are they better than condos? 